with Falcon hockey coach Joe Cranston. And Joe, the Falcons last played on November 20th, uh, about a week ago. Beat St. Olaf here at Hunter Arena 6-1. to one Could you talk a little bit about that game? Well, that was a fantastic game for us. You know, we had, we had tied Superior a couple weeks before that. Or, I mean, lost to Superior a couple weeks before that. Then we had the two ties with Eau Claire. So we really weren't playing very well. You know, I don't think we played that well all year, quite frankly, even when we played Adrian. And um, we didn't play that well. Our 4 nothing win against Superior wasn't uh, wasn't. We didn't play that well, we just buried our opportunities and then to come in and play that type of game was really fun and it was nice to see the things that we're working on finally start to show out in the ice and uh, we played as well as we've, we've ever played and you know St. Olaf is a, is a decent team, they're a respectable team, you know I look at they, they beat Bethel and Bethel pounded Eau Claire and then Eau Claire tied us and you know and they and St. Olaf split with uh, Stevens Point coming in this weekend, so they're they're a decent team, and you know I think we all chatted 28 to eight in the first two periods, and and like 44 to 17 or something for the game, and we really opened up our offense, and the nice thing was we really buzzed them, we really were buzzing in the offensive zone, and what I want the girls to learn from that is that the, how much you're buzzing and going on offense has nothing to do with your forecheck, it has everything to do with how well you're cycling the puck and moving your feet once we gain possession. So hopefully that will continue on. But we played fantastic in that game, really, as well as I, any game I can ever remember in 14 years here. So um, hopefully we can build on that. I'm sure we can. And, you know, and the nice thing, we switched up all the lines. We had, we had six different kids score on the green line. All of them scored one. And red line, two had goals. And then on the green line, we had one. And, and then the two that didn't score on that are Kate Mason and Alice Cranston. It's only a matter of time until the floodgates open up for those two. Um, they're both a little snake bit. So but we rolled three lines, and uh, we got and Taylor Guzzo was, was mixing in. She had her first goal. She's one of the most improved players uh, on our, by far on our team this year, and she's coming along and, uh, with a beautiful pass from Alice. So, you know, 60% of our forwards hit a goal in that game, and we rolled 8D, and they all, our D are coming along. And uh, Jillian McDonald had a shutout going, and you know, and uh, we had to start that third period at five on three, and, and uh, we wanted to get uh, Megan in there for that third period, and we let Jillian go to take care of that five on three. Don't want to throw a cold goalie in there on that, and, and Megan went in there and did a nice job too. So we got all three of our goalies some playing time before it was turkey time, so that was good too. Joe, uh, Brooke Story, junior forward out of War Road, was named the player of the week. She had a goal and an assist in the game. Could you talk about Brooke's play a little bit? Uh, seems like I talk about her every year. She's player of the week once or twice. Uh, she had two points in the game, you know, and just worked really hard. And she just wins battles. It's just amazing how good she is along the boards. She's as good as any player I've, I've ever coached in my life as being on the boards. And it's not like she's that big and strong. She's just quick and she's just on the puck and she just uses her body well and she just wins battles and she back checks and four checks and uh, she got a, a goal and she needed one of those she hadn't had one for a while so um, just her hard work and determination and she's just had a great a great game. Falcons uh, will host UW Stevens Point this weekend Joe here at Hunt Arena three o'clock on Friday and two o'clock on Saturday Point comes in as the number one team in the NCHA what are you looking for this weekend? I uh, can't wait. They're, uh, you know, they've had a, a weaker schedule than we have coming in, but they have more points than us, and we know if we sweep this weekend, uh, we come away with four points, and we're going to be number one in the NCHA. And uh, last several years, once we've done that, once we've gotten into the one spot, nobody's knocked us out during the regular season. Once we get there, so you know, we're going to talk to the girls a lot about that today, this whole week. That uh, that's our goal, and. Um, you know, our, our, hopefully that's a result of the way we play and our goals are going to be to play like we did against St. Olaf. But uh, we have to do a few things to, they do a few things a little differently than a few teams that we'll be ready for, we'll work on. But overall, I just, they're going to have to adjust to our game. If, if, if we're playing like we did against St. Olaf, we have that kind of speed and intensity and we're moving our feet, moving the puck, going to the net. Um, I think we're going to have a good, a good weekend. So we're just going to keep focusing on that. And if there's adjustments to be made, hopefully Stevens Point will be making them. Joe, good luck to the Falcons. We'll talk to you next week.